Hello. Hello. Uh, what's your favorite game or sport you have played and why do you like it? Maybe my favorite, my favorite sport, I would say, I prefer the most is tennis. And I did play a couple of sports like swimming and football. Okay, have you uh, have experienced a moment when you have found a, a friend while while practicing sport? Yes, I did once. Okay, what uh, did you do together? We played the sport. We also talked outside of school, in school, because we went to the same school and enjoyed our time together. And how do you feel when you're part of a team with kids that have different abilities compared to you, to yours? It's very demanding because if, if you slack off and you don't keep up, you get left behind. And that's, the part, and that's the part of working in a team. You always push each other forward and you always motivate each other to, to, be, to perform the best of your abilities. Okay. Uh, can you remember uh, about something that... Um, uh, something exciting uh, what happened while uh, you have uh, played a game or you have had a training yes I was also at the gym and I lifted 75 kilograms it was the best experience of my life okay uh, have you ever have the, the opportunity to teach someone from your uh, mates to to a new, um, to a new trick in sports you have practiced together. Oh well, no, because they were always better than me when I played sports, team sports. I was always the one that was lacking behind and had to catch up to everyone else. But what about fitness? I usually go alone. If you go with someone, if you have 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 it happened to go with someone? Yes. And have you? Teach, have you teach him? Taught have I him? taught him? Mm. Well, no, because no, because he already knows the stuff. I already know the stuff. We just train together. Okay. Uh, when you teach someone to something, when you show a new exercise, for example, or someone else shows you a new exercise, what should be the feeling? Mm, the feeling to share your experience it's a pleasant one i guess it's pleasant that you manage to share your own experience with another to give them the motivation and the boost they need to continue and uh according to you what uh, makes uh, one a good teammate in the team sport that he is cooperative and easy to understand uh, when you have played football, which is a team sport, um, do you remember a moment when you and your co-players uh, have worked really good together so to achieve a goal? We didn't play that many matches because our team was brand new, but we had a one match and we won pretty much and, 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 and we won a lot by a lot. So yes, that's the time we worked together very well. So this is one of the remember of the moment you remember and your achievement while you have you have uh, played in a played in a team sport. Yes. And um, do you think that playing a sport um, makes you a better friend? Oh no. It's. It's something like, do you think that sports teach you in a way? Yes, they promote friendships, but they can also break friendships because usually in sports you have different opinions and sometimes they contra contradict each other. And that's why you can always create friendships and you can always break friendships in mm. sports. And uh, is there a moment that you have, uh, you have learned something from a friend with different abilities compared to you while you are playing together? Yes, I did. What? A new football trick. I don't know I don't know exactly the name, but my friend was better than me and so he taught me several stuff. Several 
several moves. Mm. What was uh, what was super fun or super challenging while you are training uh, in a team? As I stated previously, it's very challenging to keep up with a team because if one slacks off and falls behind, he'll get replaced in the team. Because as because the team needs all the players to be on the max on their maximum capacity and to fun so that so so it can function like a team together and and on on and to perform on their very best. And a funny thing. A funny thing. If someone falls, I guess. <laughs> uh, what would be your advice to a friend uh, who is considering to join a? team sport for the first time think about it do you work well with people do, do not work well with people do you have any friends there any connections are, are you good at socializing are you not and before you and answer these questions first and then decide on the sport because for example tennis is better for me because it's solo and, and and i only get to rely on my own skill compared to a team where it's a team if one slacks off then the fault then the whole team may crumble into the ashes yeah what is uh, do you have any proposal how to how to make team sport uh, a better place or uh, to have a, a better experience? No. 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 I think they're pretty good because the team the po the point of the team is to motivate each other and to push each other forward to the best of their to the best of their capabilities. But you you would not uh, recommend team sport. For me personally, no. But some people prefer them. Mm. Um, well, what do you think how playing in a, a team sport uh, makes you feel about the players with different abilities and why this is important? It makes me feel like they're lazy and that they don't try. Even though they try, they just, if, if they're bad and they cannot keep up with the level, then they just fall behind and they slow the rest of the team down and eventually they get replaced. But if the player has, uh, I mean, different different abilities compared to yours, but it's not necessary to be worse abilities compared to yours. What do you mean different abilities then? That you know something that you don't know. In terms of knowledge, I won't mind seeing the team, but otherwise. Like if he, if he performs bad, he should get replaced. That's how every team functions. Was there a moment in a sport game uh, when uh, working as a team has helped you to achieve a goal in the game? No. Because I don't usually set up small goals. I usually go far above and beyond in terms of goals and sports they're just they're just like there for me to enjoy and to keep on my and to keep my mind off of everything else so what's then your favorite thing in sport the feeling that you don't have to the feeling that you forget everything that there is going on for example if you have tests or any stressful activities before and, you, and when you play the sport you're completely uh, enveloped by the sport and you think about the sport and you enjoy yourself but then you come back to reality and it's bad <laughs> okay and is there something changed uh, in your perception perception to the world before and after you have played sport or you don't remember the time you haven't like perception of the world yeah how do you how do you accept world and things and your point of view? Yeah, for the teams, uh, from the sports, you can understand that if, if a team has a weak spot, then you, then you must replace the weak spot because it doesn't work. Because it's just going to crumble down. It's about your, your personal point of view. That's my point of view. About sport. I mean, sport is a, a place... About the world. Yeah, in every team. Yeah, is, the, the idea is, did you somehow benefit from the team sport in your life out of the sport? No, I just play sports to enjoy them and to enjoy myself. Okay, thank you.